Hello, friends. I'm not Jim Nance. I'm Kurt Berglund with Replay Baseball Diamond Decades 1960s action for you on my tabletop. Uh, we are up to game two of the season between the 1969 Mets visiting Forbes Field to take on the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a battle between two of my very favorite teams of the 1960s. In game one, on opening day, it was Tom Seaver going for the Mets against Vern Law for the Pirates. And you know, when I use the Pirates of 1960 vintage, I never really know if Vern Law is the ace of the staff or is it Bob Friend. I know Law got the big starts in the World Series, but you know, Bob Friend had a better career and you could argue was a better pitcher even in 1960. But I went with Law and uh, the Pirates were three to one winners over Tom Seaver and the Mets. Uh, the Pirates scored a run in the first inning, an unearned run, uh, on a single by Bill Verdon, and then later in the inning, he made his way around the bases and was driven home by a single by Roberto Clemente. In the Mets' second inning, uh, Art Chamsky led off with a double advance to third and was brought home by a sacrifice fly by Ed Cranepool. Then, in the bottom of the third, the Pirates took the lead for good on a single by Verdon and a two-run homer by Rocky Nelson. That concluded the scoring, although in the ninth inning with two outs, Don Clendenin had a pinch hit single which brought Tommy Agee to the plate with a chance to tie the game and Roy Face got Agee to fly out to Bill Verdon to end the ball game. So the Pirates are 1-0, and oh, and the Mets are 0-1. Oh, Today, Game 2, it's Jerry Kuzman going for the Miracle Mets against Bob Friend for the 1960. Well, we could call them the Miracle Pirates, couldn't we? Because I don't think there were too many people in 1960 thinking that the Pirates had much of a chance against Casey Stengel's Yankees. And yet... So, it's Kuzman versus Friend, Game 2, Forbes Field. Let's go to the starting lineups. And here is a very attractive picture of Forbes Field. I would guess right around 1960. And it's one of those ballparks that I wish I could have seen. And now all you can do is go look at a plaque. But... Very, very historic and amazing park. All right, for the home stand, uh, the visiting, sorry, for the visiting 1969 Mets, here's their lineup. Leading off in center field, it's Tommy Agee. Batting second at third base, Wayne Garrett. Batting third in left field, Cleon Jones. Batting fourth in right field, Art Shamsky. Batting fifth at second base, Ken Boswell. Batting 6th at first base, Ed Cranepool. Batting 7th behind the plate, Jerry Grody. Batting 8th at shortstop, it's Bud Harrelson. And batting ninth, and on the mound, the soon to have his number retired by the New York Mets, Jerry Kuzman. Number 36. He was 32 starts in 69. 241 innings, 228 ERA, 17 and 9, and a couple of big World Series wins. Or was it just one win? Eh, I'm sure someone can correct me in the comments if I am incorrect. All right. For the homestanding 1960 world champion Pittsburgh Pirates, Gino Simoli will lead off against the left-hander and play center field. Dick Grote bats second at shortstop. Roberto Clemente bats third in right field. Dick Stewart bats fourth at first base. Bob Skinner bats fifth in left field. Hal Smith bats sixth against the left-hander behind the plate. Don Hoke bats seventh at third base. Bill Mazeroski bats eighth at second base. And Bob Friend takes the mound for the Pirates. 
37 games, 276 innings, 3.00 ERA, and an 18-12 and 12 record. An outstanding pitcher in his own right. All right, so we are ready to go with replay baseball. Let's check our, our lighting situation here. And eh, that's no good. That's better. Okay. It's Tommy A.G. leading off against Bob Friend. Oh, I gotta set up my board, don't I? I gotta set up my board, my board, my board. Okay, there's A.G. Ready to go against Friend. The opening pitch is a 4-1, and that is a 2. And that's hit to Dick Grote. And he fires to Dick Stewart. And there's one out in the first inning. We are underway with replay cards and dice baseball. Now it's Wayne Garrett coming to the plate. 218 and 69 for Wayne O. 1 4 is a 4 plus 2 from Friends card. And hey, struck him out. There's one, there's two gone. And one strikeout for Mr. Friend. Two outs in the top of the first. And now it's Cleon Jones. Pitch to Cleon. All he did in 69 was hit 340. That's a five on Jones' card, and that's to shortstop where Dick Grote, one more time, is going to throw to Dick Stewart, and that will retire the Mets in the first inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, nothing across. We go to the Pirates first, and it's Kuzman. Taking on Simoli, Grote, and Clemente. The pitch to Gino is a 1-2. That's a 2. Plus 1 is a strikeout with some gas. It's the Broccoli Cauliflower Medley. Gas. Dick Grote. 325. Pitch. The 2-4. That's an 11. Plus 2. Makes 13 in column 2. And that's a base hit to left field. That's the first hit of the game. Cleon Jones is going to throw that one back in. And the Pirates have a base runner in the first inning. Oh, nope. I'm wrong, aren't I? I missed the asterisk. There's going to be a pop-out. Under it is Crane Pool, and he puts it away for out number two. Just caught that one. So nobody on two outs in the first for the Pirates. Pitch from Clement to Clemente is a 4-6. That's a 1. Ground ball Boswell. He's got it and throws to Crane Pool for out number 3. We've played 1 complete and we have no score at Forbes Field. Mets looking to tie the series at a game apiece. Shamsky, Boswell, Crane Pool in the Mets second. 1 5 is a 5, plus 2 is 7. That's popped up. Bill Mazeroski puts it away for out number 1 in the Mets second. Now it's Boswell. 1 6 is a 45, plus 2 makes 47. Hey, struck him out. Baked beans. Gas. Two down in the second, Crane Pool. 3 1 is a 31, plus 3 makes 34 in column 3. That's hit to center, and that's going to split Gino Simoli and Bob Skinner. Skinner runs it down and fires it back in, but Ed Crane Pool's got a two out double, and he's in scoring position. For Mets catcher Jerry Grody, on deck is Bud Harrelson. Pitch to Jerry is a 3-6, that's a 42, plus 3 makes 45 in column 3. Line shot caught by Groat. That will retire the Mets in the second. Go to the bottom of the second, we're scoreless in Pittsburgh. Kuzman had a 1-2-3 first. Dick Stewart up there, Dr. Strange Glove. Then Bob Skinner, then Hal Smith, the pitch. 
Four, five is an 11 plus Harrelson's number is short, which is 12. We gotta do an error check. Our first error check, roll on our dice, and it's a 41, and Harrelson makes that play. Took to Crane Pool, and there's one gone. Now it's Bob Skinner, left-handed hitting pirate left fielder, the pitch. 2-3 is a 2 on Skinner's card. Plus 1 makes 3. Hey, struck him out. Pork and beans for Skinner. Gas. Hal Smith with 2 outs and nobody aboard. The platoon, the right-handed platoon half of the catching platoon. Platoon, platoon, platoon. Pitch from Kuzman is a 6-1. That's a 16. Plus 2. Makes 18, that's to left. Back goes Jones, and he'll make the catch for out number three. Six up, six down for Kuzman in the first two innings. We go to the third scoreless in Pittsburgh. Bob Friend will get Harrelson, Kuzman, and then the top of the order with A.G. in the Mets third. Pitch to Bud Harrelson, 1-1 one, one is a 25, plus two makes 27 in column one. Lined off the pitcher's glove. Skinner has knocked it down. It rolls away. He picks it up. And throws to Stewart, but cannot get Harrelson. Bud beats the rap at first, and there's a man on with nobody out. For Kuzman, not much of a hitter. But can he get a bunt down? That's the question that America is asking. Can Jerry Kuzman bunt? Pirates infield moves in at the corners. Friend the stretch. Kuzman squares. And they got a chance for the lead runner. It is bunted to Hoke. Hoke's defense, of course, is a two. The lead runner is Harrelson. That is, he is a four. It's a 50-50 chance, and they're not going to do it. They're going to take the sure out at first. Hoke will fire to Mazeroski covering the bag, and that'll move Harrelson to second base. So now, with one out, there's a Met in scoring position for A.G. Friend, the stretch, and the pitch. It's a 5-2. That's a 27 plus 1. Makes 28 in column five. And that's hit to right field. Here comes Roberto Clemente. And he's going to put that away for out number two. Harrelson holds at second base, of course. And Garrett comes to the plate. Two outs. Harrelson at second. Friend the stretch and the pitch. Two fours is 16. Plus two makes 18 in column two. That's to center. Here comes Simoli, and he makes the catch. For out number three, the Mets get a single threatened, but do not score. They leave one. After two and a half, it's no score in Pittsburgh. Kuzman will face Hope, Mazeroski, and Friend for the Pirates. 3-3 three, three for Hope is a 14, plus two makes 16 in column three. And that's launched to right center. That's going to split A.G. and Shamsky. And Art's got to go run it down. Hoke around second. He is going to go to third, sliding with a triple. A leadoff triple for the Buckos. Nobody out. And here comes Maz. Kuzman, his first jam of the game. Friend is on deck. Kuzman, the stretch. 
Infield is going to be in at the corners. Back up the middle, the pitch. 2-4 is a 16, plus 2 is an 18. And that's hit to center field. AG under it, and that's deep enough. Hoke tags. Here he comes. The throw home, but never in time. Hoke scores with the first run of the game, and the Pirates lead one to nothing. Now it's Bob Friend with one out in the Pirate third. One one is a one plus five is plus two makes three, and that is strikeout number three for Coos. Now it's Simoli with two outs and nobody aboard. Pitch to Gino is a 5-5. Five, five. That's a 3. And that's a 20. 23 in the 5 column. He walked him. Now, with the first pitch to Grote, we have to check the action chart. That's, oops, wrong side. Here's the action chart, column M. It's a 6 WPBO, and that is not a New Deal agency designed to get people back to work. It is a wild pitch check. But it's not a wild pitch, and it's not a pass ball. So it's a whole lot of nothing. And... Grote will remain at the plate. Samoli at first, two outs. On deck is Clemente. Kuzman the stretch, and the pitch is trouble. That's a 6-2. That's big trouble. 6-2 is a 60 against lefties. Plus four makes 64, and that's going to be lying down into the left field corner. Cleon Jones has to go get it. Samoli around second. Will they wave him? The throw goes to Harrelson, and they put the brakes on Gino. So the Pirates have runners at second and third with two outs now for Clemente. First base is open. Stewart on deck, though. Kuzman the stretch, and the pitch to Roberto. 2-1 is a 39, plus 5 makes 40. Ground ball. Harrelson, he's going to throw to Cranepool, and that will retire the side. Pirates settle for a run on two hits. They leave two, and after three, one nothing Pittsburgh. Every run is huge between these two teams. For the Mets, in the fourth, it's Jones, Shamsky, and Boswell. Three, four, five hitters. Cleon is 0 for 1. Friend winds and delivers. 5-5, five, five, that's a 20. Plus one makes 21. And that's a walk. Cleon's aboard. And Shamsky comes to the plate, and we're going to have to check for on base action. Friend the stretch, the pitch to Art. That's a nine, that's a WP. Wild pitch check. Checking friend's wild pitch rating. It's not higher, so we have no wild pitch. Shamsky in there. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch to Art is a 6-3. That's a 16, plus 4 makes 20. It's to right field. Clemente under it. He will put it away for out number two. Jones retreats to first base, and now it'll be Boswell. Hmm, 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 hmm. Tempting to put a play on here. Get something, trying to get something going for the Mets. All right, so Friend is working from the stretch. The pitch to Boswell. But Kenny is 0 for 1 in the game. Jones at first, one out. The pitch, and it is a hit and run. Uh, pitcher's hit and run is a is red. That's a one. 
and the batter's is three, that's a two, so we got a three, and that's going to be grounded to Hoke with Jones running. Don knocks it down, picks it up, and fires to Stewart for the out as Jones moves to second base. So with two outs now, it's a met in scoring position for Cranepool, and they need a two-out hit, which have not come a plenty in this game or in this series for the Mets. Crane Poole, one for one with a double. Friend, the stretch and the pitch is a 2-5. That's a 16 plus 4 makes 17 in column 2. Center field. Here comes Simoli. And that will retire the side. So we've gone three and a half, and it's one nothing Pirates. In the bottom of the fourth, it'll be Stewart. Uh, Skinner and Smith, the S boys. Pitch from the Coos. 16 plus 2 makes 18. Left field high, but not deep. Jones under it. And one down. Now it's Skinner. Bob 0 for 1. The pitch. Uh oh. 6-5 is a 31, plus 2 makes 33. Popped it up. Under it on the infield dirt is Boswell, and that's two away. Skinner had a hanger, but he did not take advantage. Now it's Hal Smith, 0 for 1. 3-3 three, three is a 32, plus 1 makes 33 in column 3. Center field. On the run is A.G. to the left center and makes the catch. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jerry Kuzman. We go to the 5th, and it's one nothing Pirates. Got a good one going here. It's a nail-biter. Between two good teams of the 60s, Guaranteed to make trouble in the diamond decades. Grody, Harrelson, and Kuzman, 789 in the Mets. Fifth. Pitch to Jerry's a 2 6. That's going to be trouble. That's going to be trouble. It's to left field. Thirty-five is a three. Does Skinner get there? No, he does not. It. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's a single. It drops in front of Skinner. Grody is on with a single. And it'll be Harrelson who singled back in the third in his only at bat. Now, and then Kuzman on deck. Oh, boy. Trying to get some offense going. Friend, the stretch. The pitch to Bud. 1-6 uh, is a 45. Plus 1 makes 46. It's a comebacker. Ugh. Friend gloves it. Got to roll against the defense rating. If this is a, better than a 2, we got a double play. It's a comebacker to friend. He turns and fires to Grote, covering second. Grote's relay to Stewart is in time for a soul-crushing, rally-killing double play. Turned by the Pirates. Now with two outs and nobody on, it's Kuzman. 4-2 is a 16. Grounded to... Groat. Gotta do an error check. And he kicks it. And clank off his glove. We got a one base error that puts Kuzman aboard. So with two outs, the Mets have another base runner, but AG's gotta do something to keep it going. Tommy is over two. Friend, the stretch, the pitch. For one is a two. That's too short. Groat is going to go the short way to Maz, and that will retire the Mets in the fifth. We're halfway through this one. Going to the bottom of the fifth. one nothing, Buckos. Kuzman coming back out. In case you're thinking about fatigue, Jerry has faced 
15 hitters. He can go 29 before fatigue becomes an issue. Hoke, Mazeroski, and Friend, 7-8-9 for the Pirates in the bottom of the fifth. Pitch to Don is a 5-6. That's a 4. Plus 2 makes 6 in column 5, and that's a walk. That is a walk. Maz up there now. He hit a sacrifice fly to drive in the game's only run back in the third inning. The pitch from Kuzman is a 2-2. Two -two. That's an 11. Plus 2 makes 13 in column 2. Base hit left field. Hoke stops at second. The Pirates have something going. In the fifth. That's going to bring up Friend. Mets move the corners in in anticipation of a Friend bunt. Kuzman, the stretch, and the pitch is a five. Back to Kuzman. He gloves it, fires to Garrett at third base, and they force Hoke. They settle for the one out. They get the leading lady, Hoke, going to third, and Maz stops at second. Friend is safe at first, and there's one out now. Double play still in order, and it's Simoli coming to the plate with Groat on deck. Infield at double play depth. Kuzman, the stretch, the pitch to Gino. 6-3, trouble. That's going to be 31 plus 4 makes 35. It's to left field. Here comes Cleon Jones. Here he comes. Here he comes. He gets there for the second out. And that means it's going to take a two-out hit from Grote to get the Pirates any runs. They got the first two batters aboard in the bottom of the fifth and haven't done anything with them. Grote is one for two. He doubled in the third. On deck, Clemente. The pitch. One three is a ten. Plus one is an eleven. It's a base hit up the middle. AG charges. Maz is around third. He will score. Friend going to third. And AG's throw comes into second. It's an RBI single for Grote who slides safely into second base. There's runners at second and third for the Pirates with Clemente up. 2-0 Pittsburgh, two outs in the bottom of the fifth. First base open. Dick Stewart on deck. They gotta walk Roberto. They're gonna walk Roberto. They didn't before, but they're going to now. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. Go after Stewart with Skinner on deck. Kuzman, the stretch. Checks the runners. The pitch home. 2-2 two, two is an 11. Plus 2 makes 13. That's a base hit to left field. Big clutch hit for Stewart. It scores Friend from third. It scores Grote from second. The throw home from Jones to Grody is not in time. Clemente makes third. Stewart goes up to second. It's a two-run single for Dick, and it's 4 nothing Pirates. That's going to get action going in the Mets bullpen. Cal Kuntz starts to throw. Second and third for the Pirates. Skinner up. Kuzman in danger of unraveling here in the fifth. The pitch to Skinner is a 3-4. That's a 57 plus 3 makes 60 in column 3. Possible rare play. No, it's a comebacker to Kuzman. There's two outs, so he's got to throw to first. And he gets Skinner. So, Kuzman finally gets out of the jam, but not before the Pirates score three. On three hits, they leave two 
And after five, it's four nothing Pirates. The Mets have some serious work to do now. Friend will face the two, three, four hitters in the sixth. It's Garrett, Jones, and Shamsky as the Mets try to put together a rally. Friend winds and delivers. One, one is a one. Plus one makes two. Hey, you struck him out. With the old broccoli cauliflower medley, it's the third strikeout for Friend, one gone in the sixth. Bob is also good for 29 hitters. He has faced 20 as of right now. Jones is his 21st batter. The pitch, 3-6 is a 42, plus 5 makes 47 and count 3. Snagged by Dick Grote. Two outs in the sixth, and now it's Shamsky with nobody aboard for the Mets. Friend winds and delivers. Four fours and 19. That's to first base, and that's going to be trouble. Because Dr. Strange Glove is over there, and that's going to clank off his glove. They're going to generously score that a hit for Shamsky. And there's one on with two outs now for Boswell. Ken Boswell, to be in, to be precise. Friend the stretch. Boswell's 0 for 2. The pitch. 3-3 three, three is a 14. Plus 5 makes 19 in column 3. That's going to be down the right field line. Clemente's got to go get it. Shamsky is not a burner. He is a 3. And Clemente's arm, which I'm checking just for fun, is in fact a 5, which gives us a minus 2. On the third base coach, and yeah, they can't do that. So, second and third with two outs for Crane Pool. First base open. We're in the sixth. A friend with a legitimate test here. The pitch to Crane Pool is a 3 4. That's a 57. Plus 4 makes 61. And column 3 could be a rare play. Yeah, we got to do a rare play check. This could be good for the Mets. This could be very good for the Mets. And they need something good to happen. They need a little help here. So let's see if this rare play is going to get them back in the game. Roll two dice. It's a seven. Line, single. Oh, my God. Base hit to right field. It drops in front of Clemente. That's going to score Shamsky. That's going to score Boswell. And Cranepool takes a wide turn around first base. And here comes Clemente's throw behind him to Dick Stewart. And he is out at first. He can't get back. So it's a two-run single for Cranepool. Getting the Mets on the board, but with two outs, he gets shot down, returning to first base. After five and a half, it's now 4-2 Pirates. A big hit, but also an opportunity lost by the Mets with careless base running. So we go to the bottom of the six. Kuzman will face Hal Smith, Don Hoke, Bill Mazeroski. Six, seven, eight hitters. For the Pirates. Pitch to Smith is a 2-6. This is going to be trouble. This is going to be toward the gap in the outfield. And that is center field. AG on the run. Forty-six is a four. And Tommy makes the catch. One gone in the sixth. Now it's Hoke. Don is one for one with a triple, a run scored, and a walk. Four one is an 11. Two makes a grounder to Boswell. And we got to do an error check for Ken. 35 or less. He clanked it. And... Then he threw it away. 
is rolling in foul territory toward Grody. Hoke is going to take second. And there's a man in scoring position now for the Pirates with one out. And it's Maz coming to the plate. On deck is Friend. Mazeroski, one for one. Sack fly, ribby, run scored. Kuzman the stretch, the pitch. 4-3 is a 3. Third base. That's Garrett. He's going to glove it and throw to Crane Pool for out number two. Hoke must hold at second base. Now it's Friend with two outs. Kuzman the stretch and the pitch. 3-1 is a 3. Plus three is a six in column three. That's the center field. Here comes Tommy Ag, And he puts it away for out number three. We've played six complete. We got a good one. 4-2 Pittsburgh at Forbes Field. Top of the seventh. Plenty of time for the Mets, but they got to keep chipping away. Seven, eight, nine hitters coming up. Friend has faced 22, 24 batters. It'll be Grody, Harrelson, and Kuzman for the Mets. Uh, and it's going to be Ron Taylor warming up in the Mets bullpen. Grody leads off, one for two, the pitch. 4-1 is a two. Grounded to Hoke. Don gloves it and fires to Stewart for out number one in the seventh. Now it's Bud Harrelson. Pinch hitter moving into the on-deck circle for the Mets is... Rod Gasper, backup outfielder. Friend winds and delivers to Harrelson. That's a 6-4. That's a 57 plus 3 makes 60. And that's a base hit to left field. Harrelson, with one out, gives the Mets a base runner. And now it'll be Gasper. Ah, but you know what? Yeah, they can't use Clendenin here. It's tempting to go with Clendenin to go for the long ball, but they might need him later, so I'm going to save him. Gasper is a switch hitter. He's batting for Kuzman. 228 on the season, 313 on base average. Kuzman's numbers on the day, six innings, five hits. He walked... Two unintentionally and three and one more intentionally. He struck out two. He allowed four runs and they are all earned. Alrighty. So with one out, Harrelson at first. It's Gasper against Friend. Friend to the belt, the pitch. One five is a five. Plus two makes seven. That's popped up. Maz is under it, and he will take it for out number two. And here comes A.G. Friend the stretch, the pitch to Tommy. It's a 4-4. That's a six. To shortstop is Grote. And he will fire to Stewart and retire the side. So a little trouble for Friend, but nothing he couldn't handle. Go to the bottom of the seventh. And it is 4-2 Pittsburgh. We're going to stretch him out at Forbes Field with a new Met pitcher, Ron Taylor. One of the Mets co-closers. He will bat in the ninth spot. Taylor is a right-hander. He pitched 59 innings, 76 innings, 270... 59 games, 76 innings, 272 ERA, 
Nine and four record, 13 saves. Samoli is due. He will come up. 0 for two with a walk and a strikeout. Taylor's pitch to Gino is a four five. That's a one. Grounded to Crane Pool, who's gonna take it himself. And there's one gone in the seventh. Now it's Groat. Dick is two for three, double, single, ribby, run score. Pitch. Five three is a six. Plus one more makes seven in column five. He walked him. Now it's Clemente, and McGraw is going to get up and start to throw in the event we reach Skinner's spot in the order. Clemente is 0 for 2 and an intentional walk. Taylor the stretch. The pitch to Roberto is a 4 6. That's a 1. Hit to Crane Pool. He gloves it. He turns and fires to. Yes, he fires to Harrelson for one. The relay to Taylor is in time for a rally-killing, soul-crushing double play turned by the Mets. It's 4-2 New York. I'm sorry, 4-2 Pittsburgh as we go to the eighth. Roy Face pitched an inning yesterday, got himself a save. Clem Labine went a third of an inning. Clem Labine is starting to throw, and so is, don't tell me, don't tell me, it's Fred Green. Fred Green and Clem Labine are throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. It's double-barreled action. Wayne Garrett, Cleon Jones, Tommy Era, uh, Art Shamsky, lefty, righty, lefty in the lineup for the Mets right here in the top of the eighth. 4 2 Pittsburgh. The pitch from Friend. 3 1 is a 13, plus 4 makes 17 in count. 3. Hey, he struck him out. That's 4 for the man they call Friend. And with one out in the eighth, that's Cleon Jones. We are now in fatigue territory for friend. Pitch to Cleon is a 3-5. That's a 3 plus 3. In column 3 is hit to center field. Here comes Simoli, and he's going to put it away for out number 2. Now it's Shamsky, 1 for 3 with a run scored. On deck, Boswell. Pitch to Art, 4-4 four, four is a 19. That's hit to first base, and I forgot to take out Dick Stewart. 23 is a base hit. That is a base hit. Shamsky is aboard, and Fred Green is ready. But if you go to Fred Green, he's a lefty. That means Boswell will be hit for, and that means Clendenin, probably, and that means a chance for a two-run bomb. So it's Boswell coming to the plate. They can't leave friend in there. Could go to Labine.
But then why did you have green get up? Yeah, they're going to green. All right. So after all that perseverating, Bob Friend went seven and two-thirds innings in this game. He allowed two, four, six, eight hits. Uh, two runs to this point, although Shamsky on first base is his responsibility. He walked one. He struck out four. He did not allow any homers or hit any batters or throw any wild pitches. So Fred Green is coming on. To face Boswell, he will bat ninth in the order. And take on the role of Loogie years before there was even such a term. So that's going to be Boswell's cue to get off stage. And it is going to be Don Clendenin. Pinch hitting for Boswell. Crane pool is on deck. One out, no, two outs, Shamsky at first. Green is on, he's a left-hander, facing Clendenin. Clendenin, 248, 16 homers, and a World Series hero. Green the stretch, and the pitch to Don is trouble. That's a 36, plus one makes 37. Hey, struck him out, wow. He got his column six, but didn't get the number. Wow. All right, so the Mets have a chance, but do not come through. That'll do it for Clendenin. And it'll be Al Weiss taking over at second base for Boswell. Taylor back out for his second inning of work in the bottom of the eighth inning. Taylor will face Stewart, Skinner, and Smith in the Pirate 8th. Got to hold them where they're at. 4-2 Pirates, bottom of the 8th, the pitch. 3-3 three is a 14, plus 3 is a 17 in column 3, and that's going to be trouble. That's to right center field, and it's going to split Shamsky and AG, and it's a double for Stewart. That will do it for Dick and we're gonna get a pinch runner from the Pirates bench. Joe Christopher was their pinch runner extraordinaire, and he will run at second base for Stewart. Tug McGraw is still throwing in the bullpen for the Mets, and here comes Gil Hodges, he wants Tug. Taylor went one inning, allowed one hit, walked one, didn't strike out anybody, didn't allow any runs yet. McGraw is on. And Tug will bat in the four spot as Ron Swoboda will go out and play right field and bat in the ninth spot as part of the double switch. So here comes Tug, the left-handed part of their two-headed closing monster. 38 games in relief, four starts, 100 innings, 224 ERA, 9-3 and three record, and 12 saves in an excellent season for McGraw. All right, so Christopher's on second. Skinner's up facing the lefty. On deck, Hal Smith. The pitch to Skinner, not bunting. Two fours, a three, plus one, 
plus one. Hey, struck him out, and there's one gone. Christopher can't go anywhere, and that'll be Hal Smith. Now, first base is open. There's no action in the Mets bullpen. It's McGraw's deal. He's going to go after Smith. McGraw the stretch, checks Christopher at second, the pitch home. Four fours and 11. That's to short. That's Harrelson. We gotta do an error check. And he kicks it. He boots it. It clanks off his glove and everybody's gonna be safe. Christopher advances to third. Smith is safe at first and now it's Hoke. Infield moves in. One man out. Hoke is a talented bunter. Could go that way. And now Koontz is going to start to throw in the Mets bullpen again. <coughs> Infield in. Hoke at the plate. McGraw the stretch. And the pitch is a 4-2. That's a 17 to first base. That's Crane Pool. Crane pulls up three. That makes 20. The infield's in, and that's going to be off Crane Pool's glove. Everybody's going to be safe. Christopher scores from third. It's 5-2 Pirates. Smith advances to second. It's an infield hit for Hoke. Now it's Mazeroski. McGraw the stretch. The pitch to Maz. 4-6 is a 5. Infield at double play depth. It's to second. This is Weiss. Al Weiss is a two. So that makes seven. He's going to go to Harrelson for one, and that's all they're going to get. So they retire Hoke at second on the force play. It's now first and third. And the Pirates are looking for the kill shot, so Green is going to get hit for. It's 5-2 Pirates. There's two outs. And Dick Schofield is going to bat for Fred Green. Smith at third, Maz at first, two outs, bottom of the eighth. McGraw on the mound, they're not pulling him yet. The pitch to Schofield, one, four, is a three, plus one, makes four, that strikes out Schofield. So McGraw picks up two strikeouts, but allows the inherited runner from Taylor to score. It's now 5-2, Pirates going to the top of the ninth. And Green's day is done with his big clutch strikeout of Clendenin to end the eighth. So it's going to be Roy Face. Roy Face coming on for the Pirates to close. It is a save situation. Sixty-eight games, one hundred and fifteen innings, two ninety ERA, ten and eight record, twenty-four saves, and a stud in the World Series. All right, so top of the ninth, Mets need three. Crane Pool, Grody, Harrelson coming up. Crane Pool two for three with a pair of ribbies and a double. He will stay in against the right-handed face. The pitch. 6-1 is a 16, plus 2 makes 19. That's to right field. Here comes Clemente toward the line, and he will make the catch. There's one gone. Now it's Grody. 
Jerry is one for three. Harrelson is on deck. Let him bat. Pitch from face. Five, six is a three. Plus two makes five in column five. Ground ball, Hoke. Don gloves it and throws to Rocky Nelson, the new first baseman for the Pirates. And there's two down in the ninth. And here comes Bud Harrelson. On deck is J.C. Martin to hit for... I'm sorry, that's not true. On deck is Ron Swoboda, who came in on the double switch in the bottom of the eighth, the pitch. For two is an 18. That's hit to Groat. Groat is a two. He gloves it. He throws to Nelson. And it's a one, two, three save for Roy Face as the Pirates take game two, five to two. Nice little win for these Pirates who have taken care of business against the 69 Mets. So the win goes to Bob Friend, who is 1-0. The save is Roy Face, and that's his second. The loss goes to Kuzman, 0-1. The line scores go like this for the Pirates. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 hits. 5 runs, 7 hits, and 1 error. For the Mets, 2 runs, 2, 4, 6, 8 hits. And they committed... Two errors. One of which was very costly. Thank you for joining me. This is Kurt Berglund. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.